to the 200th episode of How Do We Human, the podcast where we talk about all of the weird and uncomfortable micro moments in life. I'm one of your hosts, Chris Binning. I'm one of your hosts, Evan Cox, 200. <laughs> <laughs> That's, Bro. yeah, our listeners may not know, but we have to swap Evan out for a new model after every yeah. episode. Uh, there he you is. know, he keeps all his memories, but um, it's, you know, a lot of these episodes short him out. Oh, it's like Stephen Lang in Avatar The Way of Water. That's right. It's, I'm an avatar! He's a Navi. This is why uh, we don't record video, is because uh, <laughs> he's just too big to fit in camera. It's true. I'm very tall. Yeah. Uh, Evan? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I guess I'll let the listeners know, of course, today's topic is uh, what we should oh, do yes. with our lives. We're going to take a little quiz uh, and find out. Yeah. Uh, but before we do that, Evan, how you doing? Oh, swell. Uh, I do have a little. I am doing swell, but I have a story to tell. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And here it goes. Please do not yell. Uh, I might. Uh, what's that smell? Uh, <laughs> I went to uh the hell store that's. Kitty corner from the broken down, shut down, shuttered school we used to go to. <laughs> That's right. Target. Talking Target. Uh, by the way, I think all of the uh, all of the UCB signs are now fi- actually not finally, but they've actually been taken down. There is nothing left. It's been completely stripped. It's wild looking. Anyways, Target. So Chris, what are you doing? <laughs> no, I went to Target and I was shopping around. Here's uh and we've talked about this before. I got a lot of backed up stories. Yeah. But then this happened yesterday, and I'm like, well, those are gonna have to wait. So hopefully they don't just uh wait so long they disappear. Because that's happened in the past. That you know, has happened to hurts. both of us, yes. It hurts, and then weeks go by and you can't think of anything. And anyways, um, I'm shopping around Target. Uh, I got to mm, I got <laughs> I thought about this earlier and I was like, you can do it, Evan. You can think of a name and I'm going to just use the name I thought of. Uh, and you'll see why after the fact and I'll explain what the fuck I'm talking about. Please do. But I'm I'm shopping around Target. And well, f- first off. I see this guy. It's really like jacked guy with a weird mustache. Like, just looked like a really aggro guy with a mustache. Okay. <laughs> I guess Tom Selleck <laughs> as a bodybuilder. Okay. <laughs> and I walked past him and he like locked eyes with me and it scared me. And I was like, I don't like that, but I'm going to keep walking. And then I heard someone yell. Billy! I was like, ah! Now, part of the problem, I'm trying to come up with a fake name. Again, you'll see why at the end. Uh, I thought the name was a, what's the word for it? It could be used for any gender. Unisex. Uh, a unisex name. What's a good unisex name? Um... Wow, it's like there Billy, are which so technically many... Billy is. You Billy can... is, yeah. Well, um, well, we're gonna run with Billy, but you okay. just have to believe me that I assumed <laughs> I left to like, Joe? oh, this this jacked up guy is uh, screaming at his wife for some reason. <laughs> uh, that's where my mind left, and it kept going. It was really loud. Billy, Billy. <laughs> and i'm like keep walking keep walking (laughs) i don't want to be any part of this and then one more time billy and it was like really close to me i'm like i can't let this go i gotta see i gotta see what the fuck's going on i'm nosy yeah Uh, it was not the guy uh the jacked guy that had been yelling it was (laughs) Al Franken. (laughs) What? (laughs) And I almost didn't believe myself because I'm like, 
that he looks too old. He looks too old to be Al Franken. It, it, what happened is he lastly lost his grandson, which is why I'm changing the name. I don't feel a need to dox Al Franken's grandson. <laughs> But to say the grandson's name was Billy, he'd lost him and was yelling to try to find him. And then uh, him and his wife found him. And that that's how I was able to fully go like, oh, that is it. As I had to look him up and like, what does his wife look like? 100%. That is how Frank oh, <laughs> yelling to find his grandson. And he finally did. And he's like, you can't run away like that. You got to stick with us. This This kid did not want to be with his grandparents at all. I uh, seem to be having a miserable fucking time <laughs> with Al Franken, Grandpa Al. Uh, and then I, I saw them again later and the, the same shit was going on. This kid was like lag- lagging behind with the cart. And they're like, Billy, <laughs> you gotta keep up with us. I'm like, oh, he's just as cranky as I always assumed he might be. <laughs> just as cranky as I ever imagined. Uh, Franken, that's- Franken. Crank, crank, and crank, and bang, crank, crank, That's my exciting story. I just thought it was very funny to have that second thought of like, I all right, I was gonna walk past, but now I kind of want to walk back and see what's going on. That was the last thing I expected to see. <laughs> yeah, uh, living in LA. What do you, What do you know? The stars live here. Yeah, they're just like us it. yelling at their family. Still, but that that was it. I was like, it was the most human, <laughs> like human celeb sighting I've ever seen. I love seeing a famous person and just being like, "Oh, you were, you're just like me." <laughs> <laughs> I yell at people too. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love a good familial spat in public. Yeah, uh, I'm drawn to it. I can't help it. Can't get enough. Uh, Chris. Yes. How you doing? Well, I'm and doing be honest. All right. <laughs> oh, okay. Um I'm doing okay. Um I was going into work the other day and I thought, you know what? Um you know, my shift starts at 6 a.m. and I had just worked the previous night until 10:30 p.m. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do something nice and bring in donuts. Hell but yeah. also because of my short uh, turnaround time between shifts, that'll give, I'll get the sugar rush of some donuts um, and won't have to pack as much food for the next day. Yeah. So I go to this donut place uh, that I uh, go to in Burbank that only accepts cash. Cat. And I know I don't have enough cash to get two dozen donuts, but if I get one dozen donuts, then two or three people at work are not going to get any donuts. Oh, no. So I get a dozen and a half dozen. Um, okay. And I bring them to work and everybody's like, oh, thank you for uh, bringing donuts. in donuts. I make sure that I grab the donut that I wanted um, first. Uh, I like the custard filled donuts because I (laughs) love sugar. I hate those. Those are those are like one of the few donuts I do not care for. I don't like it. Give me jelly filled all damn day. I do. I see. I don't care as much for jelly filled, but Mm. give me that. Well, hey, we uh, We can split donuts. Yeah, we'd be good donut partners. Yeah. (laughs) Um, uh, much like a donut hole to a regular donut, oh, we complete yeah. each other. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, am I the hole? <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> but then you know, a couple hours go by, and like there's still kind of a lot of donuts left. Oh no! In the box. Uh, you know, one of the managers that I like kind of came in to say hi, and I was like, "Hey, man, get, get yeah. a donut." Get and he's like, "Oh man, I'd love to, but you know, I'm trying to watch, trying to watch my weight." And then that's what I heard from multiple other people. Oh, oh, I, I'm trying to watch my New weight. New Year's resolutions. Yeah, I got it. I think that's it. I think I got it too yeah. early to the beginning too of the year. The year. Um. <laughs> 
because it's we like, all given up by early February. Right. It's tough <laughs> because you can't bring in donuts too close to the start of the year, and then you can't yeah. really bring them in beginning of summer during summer because everybody's got to work on their beach bod. Beach um, bod. And so there's re- there's really only a few windows in the year where you can bring in donuts and everybody tears into them. Yeah. Um, but as the day starts to wind down, there's still kind of a few donuts left in there. And uh, I know there won't be enough for everybody on the, the next shift coming in at 2 p.m. Yeah. So I just kind of I'm like, I guess I'm forced to eat a bunch more donuts. <laughs> <laughs> and so i had three total okay. which is still not like not a gluttonous amount but it yeah, is you, i've done worse. too many <laughs> so <Yes. laughs> there's a lot of donuts and then i felt bad <laughs> the rest of the day because i started the day with three donuts uh that was that yesterday I th- yeah, yes, it, it fucked me up so bad that I forget what day it was. And it was like, I was crushing it. I'm having a good, I'm going out doing stuff. And then, like, was out a little too late in the day where I'm like, ah, I need to get lunch. I don't have anything at home. I'm going to get Burger King. And I got Burger King. And then I felt like I died. <laughs> like I took a like two or three hour nap, just sapped all of my energy miserable I, and hey maybe that's uh joining the old 30s club where yeah. you just start to see it's energy more than my body you know like, my body people you know, joke like <laughs> i eat a donut and it goes straight to my ass <laughs> it's just like right. I, eat, I eat a donut and i like black out <laughs> right <laughs> like, i can't handle large amounts of sugar like i used to which is for the best i think but yeah, you just start noticing how shitty bad food makes you feel. I hate it. Because it's delicious. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I think that that sort of segues in a good way <laughs> in terms of, uh, <laughs> you know, we're both in our 30s and we're both true. sluggish from sugar. Mm-hmm. And uh, we want to know what we should do with our lives. What should we do? Uh, it's been a while since we've taken a quiz on this uh podcast and uh we decided to celebrate 200 episodes by taking another one um one that we don't know if it will be fun or interesting (laughs) but uh from the esquire article uh 13 quizzes or excuse me 13 online tests that are actually worth doing uh (laughs) one of them linked to careerexplorer.com and uh there's a quiz that's uh, just supposed to tell us what we should be doing with our lives. And it's supposed to be worth doing. And it's supposed to be free. <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> if we get to we the haven't end even of confirmed this, that. <laughs> and uh, then it's one of those bullshit like <laughs> log in and pay for your results. Uh, we'll have a problem. Um, what I'm going to bet. <laughs> If, okay, uh, I'm a betting man. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm gonna bet you two thousand dollars. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh yeah, that's bad for either of us. Um, we get to the end, and it's it's free, but you have to put in your email, and then they email you results, and then they email you every day forever for the rest of your life. Pro- I think you're probably <laughs> right. Uh, which I'm okay with. You know, I collect emails. <laughs> in my inbox what um are you going to do if this says that you should pursue long form improv oh man that'd be a a bad <laughs> quiz <laughs> <laughs> shouldn't recommend that to anybody <laughs> um this quiz does have a 4.6 uh uh out of five star average I see that. Uh, it's 2, also supposed to take 572 ratings yeah it's supposed to take 30 minutes and it's supposed to give us unlimited possibilities <laughs> uh any so this is we uh, i feel like we barely even know what this is so we just correct thought it was funny <laughs> to just like title an episode like 
what should we do? <laughs> what should yeah. we do with our lives? But like, I'm assuming because this is career explorer, it's going to tell us like a, a career. For uh, us. That's I think so. I think at the very like least were. an industry, but probably a <clears throat> okay. career. Do you have any predictions for yourself? Um, I don't know. We don't know the type of questions we're about to be asked. I don't know. I think it's probably going to give me some sort of like technical, like tech guy. Um, yeah. That's not what I want. IT guys. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get that <laughs> result, but that's what I see coming. Okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna guess swim instructor for me. Let's. That's ooh <laughs> yeah. I like that. That's well, uh, I don't know. I'm not a great swimmer, but I'm an okay swimmer. All right. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't think that this is saying like you'll be great at whatever job we give you right off the bat. I think it's, okay. you know, a path to go down. So right. if you get swim instructor, you know, hey, sign up for some I, lessons. If I get swim instructor, call me David Swimmer <laughs> <laughs> with a shit. Should we start this assessment? We should. We should start we this assessment. This will also be interesting to see if this is one of those quizzes where um, the questions are in random order or if they're in the same order for both of us. Yes. Should we say it at the same time? <laughs> uh, yes. Let's uh, let's say it at the same time. Yeah. So it seems like they're all going to start with would you like to. So we'll we'll roll into it with that. Ready? Yes. Ready. All right. Would, Would you, you like, like to, to advise, advise organizations, organizations on, on how, how to meet, meet their, their business, business goals. goals? That was great. I wonder how well that synced up <laughs> over the I mean, it didn't over the at internet. all on my end. Okay. <laughs> but um, I can sync it up later. <laughs> great. <laughs> or not. I can push it farther apart to make it funny. <laughs> um, uh, would you like to? Yeah, so our options, we have hate it, dislike it, neutral, like it, or love it. Uh, Joseph Gordon, love it. Um, Yeah. I, would I like to advise, I was so busy on uh, reading it in sync um, that I didn't really understand what the question was. It's a lot to process, uh, considering this is relatively far away from either of our jobs. Yeah, I like to advise organizations on how to meet their okay, meet their business goals. Uh not remotely. I would hate that. I'm saying, hate yeah, it. I hate it. Oh, I, oh, I just... wouldn't like to do this um, <laughs> because I feel like that puts a lot of pressure on me if their business goals end up not being met. Mm-hmm. Um. Right. That is like like I've said in the past with the the social media side of what I used to do here is like I always hated that where it's like you have to predict yeah. it. Like, well, okay, if we all do that, I'm setting out a path. <laughs> and then you're also the person responsible for being like, so that path didn't work. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I'm sorry. Uh not for me. Not a fan. I'm gonna you said hate it? I said hate it. I I'm going to go with this. dislike it. I don't feel okay. passionately against it. And for the record, if our jobs are listening, we're not trying to look for a new career. We're we're doing great. We yeah, like you. Right. Exactly. We we like you. <laughs> we like you. We don't often say it out loud. We like you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what where are you landing on it? Dislike it? I went with dislike it. Yeah. Okay. Are we now on? I assume we're on to the same question. Would you like to analyze data using statistics? Now, this <laughs> is what I'm talking about. Yeah, we I love like this statistics. Shit. Yeah. I love stats. I, I enjoy analyzing data. I, it's not something I would be like, like if that were my everything, <laughs> I would probably right. be doing that. And I do a little bit in certain. Again, with social media and shit like that. Uh, but I'm going to say like it. I'm also going to say it. like it. Uh, yeah, I, like I mean, it. It, it doesn't, my heart doesn't, it, uh, <laughs> analyzing data using t- statistics does right. not call to me, you know? No. But I still like it. I, I do like to uh, uh, draw my own conclusions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now this is a, this is a, we're, we're getting dark. <laughs> yes. 
The next one is, uh, would you like to counsel people with drug or alcohol addiction? Now, this um, is a lot. This is a very uh, important job this that I my, have uh, zero does. interest in doing. I this I'm going to put hate it. Um, I might go neutral on it because I do like that. But having me counsel someone with their drug or alcohol addiction is the most irresponsible thing a company could do. That uh, I would not be good at it, but I don't hate it. I definitely don't hate it. I, uh, there's something appealing to that. Uh, I don't know why, but well, I think it's I just, it's an important neutral, it's an important job. That is, that, there like, is it, something it to that. Fulfill you in a way. My job is so wildly fucking unimportant, <laughs> <laughs> and it always has been. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had an important job, uh, and I like the idea of that. It seems nice to be needed <laughs> yeah. in, the, in society. <laughs> I would just be worried about like bringing it home with me you know yeah like that that's some heavy stuff that i I, yeah i don't know if i could uh get rid of it when i clock out you know yeah yeah that's a tough one uh i'm going neutral but good on hey my brother-in-law is a listener you're listening you're listening to how do we human and you're counseling (laughs) people with drug or alcohol addiction (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> welcome <laughs> and thank you for your work uh, but I'm neutral on it <laughs> ooh would you like to create art for sale and exhibition okay mixed this, uh, feelings on mixed this. feelings for sure uh, I'm an artist uh, yeah. the sale and exhibition side of it's not my strong suit um but in terms of like, if we're we're talking about a career where I gotta make money, uh, yeah, I I gotta say love it for me. I think I was gonna I go also lower. Have to say love it. I mean, this oh, is we're the same. Arguably, the opposite of the previous question, where I feel like this is another unimportant job. Exactly. <laughs> but I love it. I, <laughs> I want that unimportant it. job. Yeah, sign me up. And you could argue it's what we're doing right now. We're creating right. art. We're yeah oh, for yeah. exhibition. We we're in sale. <laughs> we're, we're we're on exhibition anywhere you can listen to podcasts. <laughs> this uh, next question, the way this next question is phrased, is, <laughs> is difficult for me to, huh. to wrap my brain around. That is an interesting one. Would you like to direct <laughs> the making of a movie? <laughs> Okay, so I, I do we interpret this as you're directing and making a movie or do we interpret this as you know, you're doing the you're d- doing a documentary or something about yeah. someone else who made a movie. I felt the first way initially and now I feel the other way. Uh, let me read it again and see if I bounce back to the first spot. Would you like to direct the making of a movie? I think I do. I'm going back to the first spot. I think it's just weirdly worded. I don't think okay. it's a making of documentary. Okay. Uh, Either way, but I w- e- no matter which interpretation I, it is, love it. <laughs> direct the making of a movie. That falls into a lot. It, it's so weird to say that about a thing where it's like, hey, that's what I went to school for. I've never made a movie, but I made yeah. shorts and a lot of ads, a lot of web ads. Yeah. Uh, and reached a point where I'm like, I'm not sure I enjoy this at all. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say like it. We're going to split on this. I don't think That's I was good. bad at it. I'm OK. I'm just not. I'm not, I'm, I'm not a great communicator, which is super important when you're directing. Yeah, uh, and not for yeah. uh, being a podcaster. <laughs> no, God. I mean, I'm not communicating shit. I'm just talking. <laughs> entertain an audience? I'd love to. That is the yeah. next question. This Would you is... like to entertain an audience? Fuck you. Yeah, of course. And this is what's nice about this question is it's not, would you like to be in front of an audience? Yeah, yeah. It's saying, yes. hey, no matter what you're doing, you're entertaining mm-hmm. them. And for that, yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah. 
You know what? What's one nice little thing about, uh, let's say, live streams, your Twitches and live TikToks and shit like that? There is. I was going to joke about it, but like, no, there's a, there are a handful of like blue collar jobs that will get into live streaming and people will enjoy it because the people are interesting. You know, just people will live stream like them fixing a car mm-hmm. and it's entertainment to people. And I'm like, that's fucking cool. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. I love that. Didn't used to be a thing where just like people would be in- interested to watch someone just doing their job <laughs> and talking <laughs> right. to the camera. Well, yeah, that's fucking great. Uh, I love this. I love to entertain an audience. Again, we're doing it right now. now. The real question, though, is would you like to estimate the value of items for an insurance policy? Woof. Estimate the value of items for an insurance... I uh, no, no. This is, like, uh, Price is Right. Yeah. Which I love the Price is Right, but I always knew I'd be terrible at that. I'm awful at estimating the value of items. I am also awful at estimating the value of items. Um, I mean, as evidenced by the fact that I'm still trying to get rid of my uh, TV from (laughs) when I moved into this apartment, uh, God, almost nine months ago. (laughs) Does this necessarily mean we could possibly be misestimating the value of this podcast? (laughs) No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no,
but I, I should feel that way. I'd be a better person. I'm saying like it. I okay. This is uh, this is similar to the uh, drug and alcohol addiction one. This is important work, and I want families in need to be able to find support resources. Yeah, but I don't want to do it. Uh, is the <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say dislike it. I don't feel okay. as strongly against it against doing that for a living as I did about um, the drug and alcohol addiction. Yeah, but I. I don't feel like it would uh, be a good fit for me. See, to me, it's all that's all the positive stuff. You don't, you're not getting into the dark stuff. You're just like, I'm here to help. Here's where you go. Now yeah. You probably are getting into dark stuff. Uh, <laughs> as I'm saying, I like it. Uh, would you like to help a client make business decisions? Um, eh, no. See this, I'm more, I'm more inclined to say yes to, yeah, uh, but not passionately. This is different from advising an organization, right? How to like grow their business? True. This is just yeah. like being being on the board, essentially, <laughs> to yeah. help make decisions. And I'd love to be on the board. Oh, <laughs> I just don't yeah. want to work my way up to the board. No. Uh, I'm gonna say like it. I'm gonna say dislike it. I don't like it. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> Would you like to help elderly people complete their daily activities? And daily activities is in quotes. <laughs> 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 it's not. I'm kidding. It's um, not. I do. There's a level of me that uh, enjoys the elderly. And I think it's noble. To help the elderly. Yes. I don't want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> correct. Um, I know there's no right or wrong answer, but that's correct. <laughs> I'm going neutral. I think. Yeah. I'm trying not to answer too many of these neutral, but. I, um, I don't think I can actively say I like it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going dislike it. Um, okay. I don't think that I have the patience for this job. Yeah, yeah it for would this be a task. lot. Okay, would you like to help someone with a disability get dressed? Now, the way this is worded kind of sounds like once. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have someone in mind? Uh, <laughs> I, absolutely, I can get over there. I can help you out. Um I don't know. This is a lot. I mean, my mom uh, worked with uh, adults with disabilities uh, a lot of uh, my younger years. And it looked like a lot of fucking work. Uh, I feel similar, similarly to I feel the last question. I think it's noble work. I've done a little bit of work with people with disabilities, and it does feel nice. But it's um, a lot. I'm. I'm answering it the same as um, the uh, previous question. I'm saying dislike it. Uh, and for similar reasons, again, this is something that I don't know that I would have the, um, for lack of a better word, patience. Uh, now, are do. we just talking about like actively getting them dressed or are we like a stylist? That could be kind of fun. That's so true. I'd love to be a stylist. Yeah. Um, I'm going yeah. neutral again. You and I who <laughs> dress in, in solid color But if I were dressing someone else, I would pick some exciting uh, exciting outfits. Maybe something from Dan Flashes. <laughs> <laughs> so many complicated patterns. <laughs> Evan. Yeah. Would you like to install drywall in houses? You know what? Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the weird thing is I'm borderline doing this right now. <laughs> and it's been a lot of work. Uh, I've been building do it yourselves. I'm still on my DIY kick. Uh, acoustic panels to absorb sound. Um, so I just bought a bunch of uh, rock wool insulation. 
Um, and yeah, I don't know. Building, building frames and inserting that shit. It's a lot. I'm fucking tired. <laughs> but I do kind of enjoy it. There is something again, because my job is very, I'm on the computer all day, uh, just making stuff and it feels good to just build something, you know, or be a yeah. part of be, I need the thought of being a part of building a house rules. I would love to do that. So I'm going to say like it. I'm not going to say love it, but I'm going to say like it. I'm also going to say like it. Um, this is like, of all the things to like build, um, yeah, putting drywall in a house is like really towards the bottom of yeah. the, <laughs> the, that range of things that would interest me. Yeah, um, sure. <laughs> uh, and I don't know how much the other uh, types of people that install drywall in houses, how much. Uh, I would necessarily get along with uh, people like that who I've met in the past, but uh, sure. I'm still going to say like it. Yeah. Now, would you like to interpret <laughs> the results of medical tests? I hate this. Uh, uh, I have I have no interest in this. Um, uh, this is uh, too complicated for me, and I would be afraid... <laughs> yeah. getting it wrong <laughs> big burden there uh am i allowed to just is this interpret them as i wish <laughs> <laughs> here's what i think these medical tests mean because i don't know <laughs> for sure if i'm allowed to promise people like i have no idea i can't read this but mm-hmm. here's what i think it says uh no i i uh, this is this ain't me uh Again, I don't know when you're when you're young. When I was young, I mean, with my with with these eyes, <laughs> with my uh, strabismus in my left eye, I was uh, I'm legally not allowed to be a doctor. Isn't that nice to know? Uh, but well, you know, when you're a kid, that's one of the jobs you're aware of uh, mm-hmm. being a doctor. So there is something in my mind there that's like that's noble. Uh, it ain't me though. It ain't me, babe. Yeah, uh, do, do, I don't hate it. I dislike it. I dislike it. Would you like to investigate causes of climate change? Investigate causes of climate change. I do like the idea of there being a like in the world where, like we were talking with Kyle about taxes, where it's like there's a problem and then I fix it, or there's a you know, in the terms of taxes, it's not a problem. But <laughs> the problem is mm-hmm. your money's off, and now your money's on. I like solving problems. And is there a bigger problem to be solved? <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the big ones out there. Um, so I'm woefully unprepared to do this. Uh, but I would say I like it. Uh, I, I, I would enjoy being a part of that. Let me. I'll, I'll bring the magnifying glass. And my trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I'm not sure about this one because I, yeah. on the one hand, like the way it starts with the word Great. investigate, Great I'm start. like, love it. Yeah. And then it's followed with causes of climate change, which I agree is, uh, hey, that's an important problem. But I guess where I'm stuck is like, but don't we know the causes of climate change? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just. We just have uh, half of the world's population actively fighting any progress to solve it. It uh, sounds like you just did the job, and did you enjoy yourself? Uh, it's true. I guess. <laughs> I guess the <laughs> How'd it feel? investigating the causes of it. Maybe that's okay. I'm still gonna go neutral on it because okay. I don't know. Even though they're uh, <clears throat> stupid. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about um, half the world's population actively hating me for the work I do. <laughs> True. That would be tough. Uh, but would you like to keep records of payments received? Um, I I like this. <laughs> um, I don't know that I love it because <laughs> um, it sounds boring as hell. Yeah. But 
as far as like a task goes like, yeah you, you got it, it dude i'll do it uh, same same i'm gonna but. say like this, it this, <laughs> this very much falls in like before i had had that thought of like maybe i'll take classes and learn how to do people's taxes i had thought about learning to i wanted to be a business manager for a sec because i'm like i'd be good at this meanwhile i'm fucking awful at math <laughs> like, <laughs> the whole job would be keeping track of payments received and yeah checking things in checking things out keeping the numbers balanced there's something appealing about it i am gonna say like it as well uh i don't know i don't know what it is at the base of it i may maybe this test is about to tell me what is it yeah. that i do find appealing about working with numbers when i'm i hate numbers i'm bad with them hey would you like to make customized kitchen cabinets now you're asking me in my uh, manic diy phase uh, my answer is fuck yeah <laughs> i love it uh, i'm getting really into woodworking right now i'm having a, a damn good time uh i didn't update my my beautiful maple pedal board oh it came out gorgeous you got a nice wonderful cherry stain on it uh it's, it's doing good uh so i'm gonna say love it i love making customized kitchen cabinets yeah this is something i'm uh woefully unprepared to do i would <laughs> say love it also it sounds like a good time oh uh, your only weakness is drug and alcohol counseling and making customized kitchen cabinets <laughs> you're kryptonite <laughs> Ooh. Would you like to operate a crane at a building site? Um, I'm so, gonna, I'm, uh, I'm gonna say like it on this okay. one. Okay, this is what and my I, uncle used to do in Seattle. I've seen a lot of movies where like guys in, who are crane operators <laughs> get uh, like uh, destroyed by their own machines, <laughs> um, but uh, do I do like? Um, I have to do this a little bit uh, at work. Um, where I have to operate a machine and bring it to the exact right uh, nice. location with some nice. precision. And I do enjoy that. Uh, so yeah. I'm going to say like that. it. And um, those movies where uh, people operating cranes uh, have whatever's on the end of the crane swing back into the cabin and uh, shatter it into a million pieces. Sure. That's what's preventing me from choosing love it. Yeah. Uh I get you. Your argument is strong. I get Thank it. Thank you. I'm definitely not a love it or hate it, but operating a crane at a building site. I mean, I'd feel bigger than everybody else, and I like yeah. that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say neutral. I would do it. Uh, it would feel kind of cool, but I don't know. I don't know that I feel passionate about it or that i'm particularly interested sorry uncle steve <laughs> uh would you like to oversee all aspects of a business no <laughs> <laughs> depends what you mean by oversee if you mean oversee in the way that like most general managers I've ever worked with oversee things. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be okay yes. with that. <laughs> That's what I think it means. I think it means do you want to be is... like the top guy at the job? Yeah, um, and have have everybody uh, some level of subordinate to you. <laughs> yes, cower before me. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna say all aspects of a business. I'm good. So if I put this, a business is a tough way to word it. Yeah, which I think probably means I need to pick dislike it because I'm thinking like if it's my business, like I'm the top of it because it's something I'm really interested in. I started a, a record label and I oversee the aspects of that. Sure, that'd be great. But if we're just saying oversee all aspects of a business like Walgreens. Nah, I wouldn't want to do that at all. Um, fuck. That is tough. I'm going to say dislike <laughs> it. Dislike it. I don't need the responsibility. I am going to say, um, Ooh, I'm going to well, say like it. Okay. Audible. Be uh, <laughs> because, last, last second audible. <laughs> well, the like burden of 
of having that prevents me from saying love it, but I've seen, uh, you know, I've worked with uh, people who are <laughs> overseeing the aspects of the business, yeah. and it sure seems like they've got it easy. <laughs> Yeah. I'm sure there are things that they have to deal with that I don't know that make it difficult, but uh, a lot of them does seem to be pretty kicked back. <laughs> usually does feel like sitting in an office for maybe four or five hours a day <laughs> and then coming home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would you like to oversee the hiring of new employees? Um. You know what? Yeah, I love this. <laughs> yeah, same. Uh, I got what, to I mean, what sit. is a hiring manager other than just like someone who judges people for yeah, a living? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I love to do that. I got to... It's funny because I had never like thought about it in those terms, but I got to help. I mentioned before, previous uh, guest of the show, Cliff Johnson. I uh, used to be my boss, and uh, when I left that job, I got to help uh, not choose my replacements, but sit in on the meetings and, like, ask questions because it was all video-related stuff, and he didn't know it. So I was like, "I you feel pretty fucking good <laughs> when, you, when you get to be on that. After all the shitty interviews I've been in in my life, getting to be on the other side of the table mm, felt good. <laughs> Yeah, and there are, you know, um, I'm sure that many of our listeners can relate to this, but when you see who else gets hired at your job and you're like, how in the hell did they get in here? Yes. I want to, you know, be another barrier. Um, yeah. I heard there's someone who interviewed to work at my current place. They did not get the job, but they nice. were working for a delivery company and they were um doing their job interview uh it was a remote interview so they were on their uh, like microsoft teams or whatever on their phone uh <laughs> while they were working for the delivery company so it was propped up on the dashboard when they were driving to each home then they would take <laughs> the phone with them and walk you know on the delivering the package and then come back and do it again um uh, you know, so they could see that the driver was not wearing a seatbelt and was Great. Uh, smoking and like all, all this stuff Great. Uh, that uh, <laughs> were pretty obvious red flags. And then the recruiters said, I think he'd be great. And um, <laughs> the manager that uh, was on the call with them, the same one who uh, didn't want to have one of the donuts, uh, <gasps> was like, are you serious? <laughs> Please, <laughs> we cannot hire him. Uh. Yeah, I think I think you and I as a team could we Oh yeah. Oh, come on. We would hire the most like <laughs> just the most boring people <laughs> in the world. But business would be good. <laughs> yeah. They'd be uh, workers. Yeah, I love this. Uh we just want some power. Yeah. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Yeah. Um, it would probably be better um, if it was two of us because no one man should have all that power. I've heard this um, recently. Unfortunately, I've just now been really getting into Kanye West. Unfortunately, <laughs> that's a lyric stuck in my brain forever and it doesn't seem to want to go away. Nah. No. Oh, well. Oh, well. Um, you know, if that's the only thing that I ever feel obligated to quote from Kanye, maybe that's okay. <laughs> um, Evan, would you like to perform mm -hmm. scientific analysis or analyses mm -hmm. on evidence from a crime scene? I wanted to say love it, like absolutely, but this is the this is the de for me the definition of like I don't want to take that shit at home, like. Mm -hmm. I've uh, I've done enough work on sensitive topics in the past between documentary work and working on the podcasts I work on, and it's like, yeah, it can it can wear you the fuck down. I don't I don't think I'm the type of person that fully can just like shut that part of my the like empathetic part of my brain off and look at like bloody corpses and just be like, well, that's a part of the job. <laughs> like, I like the idea of it. I couldn't do it. 
Uh, yeah. I'm gonna say dislike it. I was I was gonna say like it, and now I'm I've talked myself into I dislike it. I would not want to do that. I was gonna say love it, but you've talked me down <laughs> to like it. Okay. I I could definitely never be a coroner. That's yeah. like part of it that I could never do. But you uh, want like a ballistics report or like fingerprints done? <laughs> hey, I got you. A <laughs> f- uh, friend of the family uh, is an assistant to a coroner. Uh, I live in a, a weird magical world where I know s- <laughs> someone who does every job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Incredible. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, okay. I'm going to say just like, I don't feel good about it because I do like the idea of it. I, again, it's an investigation. I yeah. like that. It's appealing, but I wouldn't want to do that too much. Just like, would you like to hashtag process transactions at a bank? <laughs> I don't know why I turned that into a hashtag. Would you like to process transactions at a bank? Um, I mean, this is between neutral and like it for me. Mm, interesting. I mean, I'd like to um, use the like pneumatic tubes or whatever, <laughs> or whatever those things <laughs> yeah, are. Yeah, those do um, look fun. But uh, other than that, <laughs> not really. Uh, I'll say like it, I guess, but it's. I, no, I'm not passionate about that at all. We, I'm going to say hate it for this one. And that's Whoa. interesting to me because I'm like, I would love to keep track of the money going in and out of a business. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to handle people's money and the, 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 mm-hmm. uh, process. It's, uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't have to explain myself any further. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> First thought, best thought. Pew. Would you like to repair oh. damaged farm equipment? You fucking know I would. <laughs> <laughs> Get me in there. Uh, I would love that. Yeah. I like mechanical shit. I still, I think I should have been a, I, at a young age, I had the thought that, an engineer's life was probably the life for me. And the older I get, the more I'm like, yeah, it's probably <laughs> maybe that's where they'll, where they'll put me. Uh, I think I should have been a engineer. Uh, I'm going money. dislike it on this one, okay. but I don't know why. That's just what my gut <laughs> tells me. <laughs> All right. Uh, you don't want to be on a farm. No. E I E I no. <laughs> but would you like to research how genes function? Wilder. Uh, uh, yeah. To clarify, this is not Siskel. <laughs> this is not uh, spelled J E A N S. These are uh, <laughs> these are the other types of genes. And no, I would not. Uh, but I. I guess I don't hate it, but I I would not like to do this. So I, I think I'm it. in the same spot. I think I dislike it. Uh, researching's cool, but that there's a level of being a we'll call it a scientist. I'm not sure what the exact job title of that. I'm sure researcher is probably it. But like, and I don't know. I said I, I said I'd love to research, or like or love to research. Uh, climate change causes and i guess that's similar but it's like it feels like there's so much known about Mm -hmm. how genes function and there's so much more to know but to me it feels like i could do that for my entire life and not get anywhere on it like not actually find anything out Uh, and and i don't like that idea i just like this uh but i do have uh gene wilder's biography so i'm gonna learn how that gene functions would you like to sell a house i hate would it you no. like to sell a house, <laughs> you like sell a house? <laughs> no not at all it sounds terrible it's embarrassing that it took us this long to, <laughs> to do that to one of the questions 
<laughs> Especially because I think wasn't one of them building something? Would you, yeah. like, to... Would you like to build customized kitchen cabinets? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to build a cabinet? <laughs> Uh, I would hate this. I don't want to sell houses. I, but I would like. That, I would like this. Guess what? What? That's what, that's what my aunt does. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> we've got a wide breadth of careers in my extended life. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Um, yeah, I think this 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 would be kind of fun, uh, similar to what mm. Kyle talked about in the taxes episode, yeah. where he. Um, where I asked him if he was going to have obnoxious uh, yeah. ads and stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. I would have obnoxious ads as a realtor for sure. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to do it. Sorry, Aunt Patty. <laughs> <laughs> but would you like to sort mail in a post office, which is what my grandpa did <laughs> oh, in the military in Vietnam? <laughs> Oh my god. This is great. I, <laughs> I I mean I'm going to say like it. I do like sorting things and yeah. getting things organized in that way. Uh but it sound I mean it sounds kind of boring, but I'm going to say like this, it. I don't know if it's still the case. Probably cuz I never post office has never seen like just brimming with employees. But like when I was living in Seattle and looking for work that was like it was like an open call like we just fucking need people to work in the post office it's a state job you'll you're guaranteed x amount of dollars it's gonna be boring but if you're just willing to do it it's a job and we'll hire you immediately we don't give a fuck who you are so that was always like a temptation like maybe i'd do that maybe i'd be okay with that so i really thought about it for a while like maybe i'm gonna go be a mailman or sort mail in the post office and i landed on no and i think because of that i have to land on i'm gonna say neutral i i can't say i would dislike sorting mail in the post office but i i landed on that before and i think i still stay there i don't think i would enjoy that all right and now it's time to you know figure out who in your family does this for a living great would you like to study sea creatures that is what I do for a living. Whoa! Yeah! Hey, George Costanza telling me you're a marine biologist. That's right! And what was in the blowhole? Golf ball. Golf ball. Uh, study sea creatures. Sea creatures are cool. I watched that documentary about the octopus. And I'm like, hey, that's dope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd say like it. Again, I'm not a strong swimmer, so actually going down there and studying sea creatures would probably be a lot for me. But I think if I could do it, I would love that. I think that's very cool work, but a little beyond me. But I am going to say like it. I do like animals, and I like to swim. I don't want to you know cut open animals and poke around no. in there i don't know if that's part of the studying but also a lot of sea creatures are like weird little freaks you know what I'm oh saying? god deep <laughs> deep sea creatures it's are gonna be horrifying spooky. I don't, I don't, uh so for that reason i'm gonna world. say neutral okay did you I, I don't know if that ever came up did you ever have to dissect stuff in school um yes we dissected owl pellets and then i think we dissected frogs owl pellets like their food or their shit <laughs> um it's either their shit or their vomit i think <laughs> but it, like, sick like, poke it around and then you find some like skulls in there sometimes or whatever that it's is gross. probably yeah the more likely direction this job would go than the beautiful documentary footage <laughs> right and swimming being narrated alongside by whales. david attenborough yeah. uh that i'm imagining uh yeah i had to dis dissect a frog i didn't like that uh but i got all the questions right i found all the organs uh, yeah i'll still say like it Oh, would you like to take part in a musical performance? I've already done this multiple Same. times. Um, but here's the thing is that my <laughs> singing is bad. 
man, <laughs> my dancing is bad. Fuck yeah. Uh, which is why in almost every production I was cast as like the guy who uh, wants them to stop singing. <laughs> and- <laughs> Everyone knock it off. <laughs> For that reason, uh, I'm still going to go with like it. Okay. I, I was say, it doesn't, it's not specifically a musical True. performance. It's just a musical performance. So, like, I think all of these, you know, whatever, you're learning something, skills aside. I don't know. That's a question. Would you like, would you like being in a band? Do you think? Um, I like the idea of being in a band, but I know that I don't have the skill set for it. Okay. I could be like a band manager. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Would you like to manage a band? Uh, I love this. I love musical performance. It's all I want to do. Do I ever do it? Fucking no. I don't. Why not? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I, I think I need a band manager. <laughs> Uh, um, I love it. You remember when you said uh, you thought we were going to be done in a couple minutes? Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is the like? longest three minutes <laughs> we've ever taken. Would you like to teach kids how to play well with other children? Fuck no. Yeah. Kids no. are unruly. They do kids whatever the fuck shits. they want. <laughs> it's like... Yeah. I love I love my 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 kids, <laughs> my right. nephew and my nieces, uh, and, and hey, as an uncle, when the time comes along to pass along a lesson <laughs> how to play well with other kids, I'll do my best. It's not in it's not in me. I I, I don't know how to talk to kids. <laughs> I don't know how to talk to kids in a instructive way like that. You know, mm-hmm. I don't like it. I'm not gonna do it. Uh, I yeah, can't. I put a dislike it. Um, kids. Yeah, I guess I can't say hate it. Uh, I'll I'll dislike it. I'll dislike it. <laughs> Would you like to verify quality of parts before shipment? No, thanks. Yeah, I'm going neutral on this. I feel like I could do it, but yeah. um, I don't love the because you know there are plenty of people who receive a shipment. And hey, sometimes what's in there is broken, and sometimes you just want more free stuff, so you say that it's broken. True. And if you do that, the person it comes back to is probably going to be whoever was supposed to verify the quality of parts. And I don't like, I don't like the uh, hypothetical scenario that I've built for myself around this career. So yeah. I'm saying neutral. See, now this is what my friend Robbie used to do. <laughs> Oh when my we, god. When we were uh I guess just out of high school, like right before we moved to Seattle together, uh, he worked at the wood mill, and that is a plank of wood comes by, you ex- inspect it for like chips or major major knots. <laughs> or of course, you know, uh cracks, shit like that, sap all over the place. Uh so the shitty wood you throw in one pile, the good wood you let keep going on the belt. And I think what do you do with the um, one that you find in the morning? Hey, it's <laughs> not that kind of podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it is not... when we're over an hour in and not even a third of the way for this quiz. <laughs> not today. <laughs> uh, that, hey, uh, the wood in the morning always passes great. <laughs> <laughs> it's a double a uh i so i i don't know i think talking to him and seeing how that was slowly killing him <laughs> uh leads me to hate this i think that's the definition of a job that like a job where nothing changes ever like the ultimate goal of your job is that everything is exactly the same every fucking day <laughs> that's bad i don't like that at all I, I'm good doing manual labor and stuff like that, but just the, yeah, no, that's too much for me. I hate it. Would you like to write a play for a theater? Yes. Love it. I do creative writing all the time. I'd love to get paid for it. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'd say, yeah, I'd say love it. I I, I would, that would, uh, that's, hey, it's, jobs you and i could just get thrown into together 
I think you and yeah. you and me get like a contract <laughs> to write plays <laughs> for a theater. <laughs> Like super dramatic plays too, really dark shit. <laughs> I think that'd be a fucking blast. <laughs> I love this idea. Uh, and involving money with the writing is probably the only uh, kick in the pants I need to actually write. <laughs> so <laughs> right. if I just could get a job without doing any writing beforehand, please sign me on. Uh, Broadway hits. Here we go. Love it. Would you like to write lyrics for songs? <laughs> hey, I already do. Uh, and I've learned to love the stuff. I used to hate writing lyrics, uh, but I really enjoy it now. I um, I know that I uh, am not good at this, I think, because um, I am currently one of the screenplays I'm working on is supposed to be a musical, Ooh. but I don't know how to write the songs. <laughs> <laughs> but um with you know things like uh uh Bo Burnham's music or sure. the Lonely Island or even um off book the uh improvised musical podcast um I do uh think that if I practiced a lot more at it I could do it uh it's not as uh big for me as uh like writing uh a narrative story, but yeah. I'm going to say like it. Okay. I'm going to say love it. And I'm going to say, hey, get at me. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a whiz with the uh, stupid comedy lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Uh, would you like to... Oh, right, I read that last one. You read. Uh, would you like to write marketing material for a client's products? Blech. Uh, I hate this. I hate writing copy. I do a lot of it. I've done a lot of it in the past, not for products, but for, I don't know, videos and shit like that. Uh, ads. I hate it. Uh, I don't mind writing copy, but uh, no. And, hey, I also know someone who's done this. Uh, an old friend of mine did this for T-Mobile and Lululemon. And it seems I shitty. Yeah, <laughs> I... Um, the problem is I would I'd be okay to write marketing material. I just don't know if I would be okay with based on the marketing material I've seen companies put out mm -hmm. if I would be uh, comfortable be with okay writing with the notes. what they seem to like. <laughs> exactly. Uh, which is cringy garbage. Yeah. So I'm gonna go neutral on this. Uh like you said earlier, I like I really don't want to keep hitting neutral on some of these, yeah. but some of them I just feel neutral about. Yeah. Well, I'm going to say hate it. Ah! We got to start okay, rating so careers. This, yeah. Oh. The next step is to rate the following careers. We will be showing you some careers selected at random <clears throat> so we can get a better sense of what you're interested in. Okay. So let's just go through these quick because they're going to be different for both of us. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess we can just run back and forth. Would I be interested in being a statistician? No. Would I be interested in being a natural resource manager? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> this is an interesting one. Would you be interested in being a libretist? <laughs> A libretist writes the lyrics or dialogue in an opera, musical, oratory, ballet, or cantata. Fuck yeah. Uh, very interested. <laughs> Damn. Uh, man, why oh, can't I get that? I, I got, would opera. you like to be, would you like to be an HVAC technician? <laughs> um, which is of course the abbreviation for heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Uh, not interested. No, thank you. Uh, would I like to be a financial manager, which is essentially what I was talking about earlier. So I'll give that a nice little three stars. I would do it. Would you like to be a family practitioner? Mm -hmm. Not interested. Uh, would I like to be a market research analyst? It's interesting uh, with seeing the job come back around where it's like, oh, yeah, I did, I did kind of say I would like to do this. But then being faced with the job title, I'm like, eh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I'll give that another three stars. Uh, it's interesting enough. But yeah. Uh, would I like to be an aquarist? 
uh, someone who works for the aquatic section of a zoo uh, or for a public aquarium. Huh. Um, yeah, kind of. Moderately interested. Okay. Would I be interested in being a maintenance worker? Kind of, yeah. Four stars. <laughs> Moderately interested. Would I like to be a building inspector? Um, so that word again. I feel like... I feel like everybody hates building right. inspectors. <laughs> but I'd be the cool one. Yeah. <laughs> so, four stars. Would I like to be a soil and plant scientist? Not really. I think it's interesting, but not something I want to do. Not interested. Would I like to be an oceanographer? Uh, Not really. <laughs> Would I like to be a horse trainer? Uh, I've worked with a lot of horse trainers. They seem like nice people. I've been spending a lot of time with uh, Jocelyn's horse lately. Uh, uh, and I like that horse. Yeah, I, I, I enjoy it. Uh, four stars. I'll be a horse trainer. Computer hardware engineer. No, thank you. They make this one sound exciting. Would you be interested in being a cryptographer? Are you interested in keeping messages and other data secrets away from the prying eyes of criminals or enemy governments? <laughs> you might be interested in becoming a cryptographer. Um, hey, that sounds exciting, but uh, yeah, I don't think that's me, but I'll, I'll neutral that. I'll give that a three. That's fine. Uh, would you like to be a hearing officer, which I guess is also <laughs> known as an administrative law judge? Damn. Um, oh, here. Got it. No, not really. Would I like to be an athletic trainer? I don't think so. I like athletes. I'd hang out with them. Would you like to be a neuroscientist? Uh, no. Man, I feel like I'm rejecting all of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would I like to be a dog breeder? That's a loaded question. I love dogs, <laughs> but that's not Muscle a lot of dogs. Not a lot of positive. Not a lot of positivity around dog breeding. <laughs> uh, so I'll, I'll give that a two. <laughs> uh, I'd like to be an environmental designer. The fuck? Um, this explanation here doesn't really uh, <laughs> <super> <laughs> what it is. Um, but uh, you, you're dealing simultaneously to two commitments ecological sustainability and livable and inviting human spaces you know what i'm not equipped at all to do this but i am moderately interested hell yeah would i like to be a pathologist a doctor specializing in studying the causes of nature and effects of disease fuck no not interested would i like to be an automotive engineer not interested would you like to be a phlebotomist who's trained in the skill of taking or drawing blood from living people no i'm not a vampire the world is a vampire. <laughs> Would I like to be an A&R coordinator? Um, responsible for getting already known artists to sign up under Dias. their label. Um, yeah, I'm so... I'm kind of interested in that. All right. uh, would I be interested in being a truck driver? Oh, yeah, I know a lot of truck drivers. Uh, I like driving. I'm going to go neutral. Uh, would I like to be a legal secretary? Um, not really. <laughs> this one made me laugh. Because <laughs> it is a real thing. And it has a definition under it. But it, its title is just, would you be interested in being an animal lawyer? <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck you. Yes, five stars. <laughs> you're, oh, you're out of order. <laughs> 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 the lawyer who specializes in laws and regulations related to animals. Uh, it's probably not uh, something I would want to do. I'll do somewhat interested. Two stars. But if I was just being an animal lawyer, like my client here is being <laughs> yeah. accused of shitting on your lawn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would I like to be a gerontologist? Um, people sometimes interchange gerontology and geriatrics. Uh, no, not interested. Uh, would I like to be a laser technician? Not really. Lasers don't interest me. They scare me, and I don't want to get near them. 
Would I like to be an optical engineer? No, I would not. So did yours now switch to a yes weird thing? My, it says, would you enjoy athletics, involvement in exercise, sports, and games? Eh, I like watching them. Uh, I'll go neutral. I'm going to go dislike it. Oh, you also I, got athletics? I did. Yes, I did get that as well. Okay. Uh, would you enjoy beauty and style, making people and spaces look visually appealing? There's your there's your stylist uh, hey, that's uh, true. opportunity right there. Uh, I know a stylist. Um, no, I don't think so. Dislike it. Apparently, don't like it. <clears throat> these are our career matches, which it's interesting so far that they're the same. <laughs> hey, yeah, that's true. This next one, and for me at least, says, would you enjoy creative arts, activities involving the visual arts or music? I love it. Love it. Uh, would you hey. enjoy creative writing and journalism, writing, editing, and communicating stories? Love it. I'm going to say like it. I love writing. But that's going to take a minor step below the previous one for me. Ooh, would you enjoy culinary arts? Love it. I'm going to go like it. I uh, still am not good enough uh, with certain um, dishes uh, to uh, to fully <laughs> love the process. <laughs> Uh, would you enjoy engineering, developing and using technology to produce and maintain things? Fuck yeah. Love it for me. I'll go like it. Um, I don't uh, uh, have the brain fully. I don't fully have an engineer's brain, but I have a problem solver's brain. So I'm going to say like it. I have now that I'm seeing this line going down. Is this going to take us three hours? <laughs> I mean, we, uh, it doesn't feel like we're even halfway through. <laughs> yeah, I think that uh, this quiz is not made for a uh, story. Podcasting, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's uh, keep. I mean, we're going fast now, but let's just keep rushing through. Uh, we might have to edit some of this out. Uh, Probably. Uh, <laughs> ready to finally let's get, get back, back to, to work. <laughs> My God. All right. Um, yeah, we'll just cut in back there. <laughs> Us sounding exhausted because that was a fucking long test. It <laughs> was a long test. Yeah, there was a lot to it. Uh, we answered all the questions. If you were playing along with us, sorry. <laughs> You've got a long ways to go. It's not just a yeah. half hour. Um we are two yeah, hours in. Took a recording. long time. Uh, but we've got our results here and we're ready to talk about them. And I have a feeling they're going to be relatively similar. Well, let's find out. I mean, first, uh, it gives us some characteristics that make you unique compared to everyone else. Yeah, what is yours? I only have one in here. Really? So <laughs> it's not really plural. Yeah. Oh. I have one characteristic. <laughs> Hard to work with. <laughs> <laughs> What's your characteristic? Uh, that I am a visionary. Damn! What a that's you're Steve Jobs. <laughs> he didn't need any other <laughs> characteristics. That's a it's a, it's rare when you click on it. There's more information. Oh, and it's uh it says that that is a rare characteristic. Eight point two percent of users get a uh, visionary. Wow. It says that I am creative, introspective, and persuasive. Visionaries are all about creating their own artistic empires. They crave independent and unstructured spaces where they can be creative. They value aesthetics and environments that offer variety and change. They can be very assertive when it comes to expressing their points of view. Visionaries are risk takers and feel pure excitement when they develop new ideas interesting what are your uh unique characteristics evan i have four what <laughs> <laughs> oh, and no, one of i mine, thought you were gonna have like two <laughs> one of mine is ultra rare oh no 0.7 percent of users uh it's a designer i'm a designer okay i'm uninhibited 
Ooh. I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm aesthetics driven. And I'm modest. <laughs> yeah, after <laughs> you're ultra rare. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it all spells out Dwam, <laughs> D-U-A-M. Uh, aesthetics people are moved by beauty in many forms. That's cool. Yeah, what about uninhibited? I'm spontaneous and unpredictable. Huh. Tendency to act on a whim. I feel like I answered a bunch of questions that were like, no, I like to think about something before I do it. But whatever. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'm uninhibited. All right. Uh, well, what, what what careers did they suggest, Mister Visionary? <laughs> um, Head they, of Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. So they have um, what is this? Fifteen careers here. Um, and you know, you can look at more of them, I guess, afterwards. But uh, mm-hmm. how many of them do you want to hear? All fifteen, real quick, or? <laughs> I mean, there's on no my description end, of any of them. So, yeah, and they don't really appear to be in any order. No, uh, I don't. Think I'll so. say broadly, I feel because it was like we said, it was an intensive quiz, answered a lot of questions, and it might just be natural because that's what I'm interested that that's where it would lead me. But it does borderline feel like they could have just asked me like. What you into? And I yep. would say music. <laughs> the results would be like, here's all these music related jobs. One hundred percent. But my top, I'll, I can run through the other ones. As cinematographer, which I don't agree with at all. Uh, that set is designer. also the. Yep, those two are also oh, no. at the top of mine. <laughs> uh, recipe developer. Uh, no, in that spot I have food stylist. So close, Ooh. but not the same. Oh, but I'm so aesthetics driven. Uh, art therapist, uh, video game level editor. I don't have either uh, of those. I got a few video game ones. I don't know where that came from. Um, and an agricultural engineer because I answered that one question <laughs> <laughs> that I would like to work on. Farm, old farm equipment. But yeah, mostly music stuff, which I would be all about recording engineer music historian contractor music supervisor i'm all about this shit Um, baby Uh uh-oh uh-oh yeah so i had (laughs) cinematographer set designer food stylist then i have videographer film colorist that's what i do executive producer cartoonist Mm. radio talk show host (laughs) illustrator sculptor Producer, oh. copywriter, calligrapher, content manager. And then there's one that I skipped because it felt very different from the rest of them. And that is wedding planner. <laughs> <laughs> Would you enjoy that, you think? You'll find out soon enough, I guess. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we've we've kind of been going through some of uh, some of it. I wonder. I I don't know. I think that, you know, you and I joked about having a wedding planning uh, oh, business yes. together uh, like many episodes ago, um, especially to create a horror themed wedding. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's a good idea. <laughs> so, I mean, I do think that there's like um, elements of it that I would enjoy, uh, but I don't know how much I would enjoy like I think I'd have to be very selective about the clients I accept. I'll put it that way. <laughs> um, uh, I'll say it again. At me, I'll plan your wedding, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure everyone would be thrilled. Um, if you scroll down here uh, further uh, to your career pathways, yeah. Um, does it only show you three? First of all, correct. Okay. Uh, what are the three career pathways that it has given Evan Cox? Construction trades. Graphic designer and automotive repair technician. We these make sense. Have two out of three <sighs> the same. Really? I also have graphic designer and construction okay. trades. Interesting. And then I have interior designer. Well, well, well. My girlfriend's a graphic designer. Oh, she could uh, give what us an that? in. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then, yeah, just a bunch of lists, a bunch of degrees, which 
I'm not, I'm not doing that shit. Yeah, no, no thanks. <laughs> but all the way at the Although, bottom here. <laughs> it gave me five stars if I wanted a degree in masonry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all the way at the bottom, it actually gives us, uh, oh. or at least you might have multiple, I'm not sure. <laughs> but I'm given two reports. Okay, me too. Okay. Um, my trait report that I'm artistic. In Same. fact, according to this, you're more artistic. You're more artistic than, than 90. Six percent of the population. Ninety nine. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's that modesty we know and love. <laughs> um, so and then <laughs> a personality <laughs> report. Um. You're a visionary. You're a unique blend of artistic and enterprising types. That's why I'm a designer. You're a unique blend of artistic and realistic types. Ooh, interesting. You live in your little cloud world in your head. <laughs> uh, let's see. Does that let me look through these? Oh, yeah. it does. It does. <laughs> it gives so so many uh, things here. We don't have to get through it, but if yeah, it, I mean, it nailed me. I mean, it's easy, you know, to ask a person questions about careers and then tell them what careers they'd be interested in. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, creative arts, culinary arts, engineering, skilled trades, music. Yeah, no, I don't, that, that stuff all appeals to me because of all the shit I just told you. Yeah. <laughs> what are your very uninterested? I wonder if ours are similar. Mine are. Healthcare service, physical science, sales, protective services, mathematics, and military. And that sounds accurate. I only have three. Oh. Politics, sales, yeah. and military. Yeah. That's, that's good stuff. I There is, uh, not to tell people, like, hey, go take this test. There is something to, like, being asked questions. I mean, I guess that's what any quiz is, is you're asked questions, and then it's kind of, just organized in a way that makes you think about like, oh, that is something to think. But the, yeah, the your must haves is an interesting thing to see. Yeah. Like, oh, that is what's most important to me. And I read them now and I'm like, yeah, that is. And it seems, I don't know. I think everyone would have this way. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know what you've got. Uh, very important for me. Uphold moral values, good working conditions, treated fairly by employer. That's all I ask for. Uh, yeah, I have those three as well, and then I also have uh, pleasant coworkers and steady employment. Wow, I don't give a fuck about my coworkers. <laughs> yeah, because you work from home and you're not yeah. around any of them. That's true. That's true. Uh, okay. Very unimportant to me: job prestige, authority to direct others, and keeping busy. Well, I guess I can't stand dealing with customers or competition. I, yep. <laughs> I guess the big question here, Evan, is after yeah. all this, after you and I spent almost two hours taking this 30 minute quiz. <laughs> fucking seriously. <laughs> uh, are you ready to leave your current job and pursue yeah. the career of cinematographer? <laughs> I guess so. Uh, I don't know. I look pretty nice here. <laughs> I can set up a camera, okay. Great. No, I wouldn't want to do that. Do you feel like you learned like anything it. about yourself? I think it sent me to the precipice of being uh of learning stuff. <laughs> okay. Like I'm gonna hang on to this report and I'm gonna look through it more later. Uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, I've I've been in this career here for a second. I'm not like looking to get out of it, but I'm also not like hyper passionate about it. Eh. There's no harm in like thinking about that. Is there something on on the same level that I might enjoy more? I don't know. Yeah, I think that uh, kind of similar for me. It kind of gave me a lot of jobs and things that like I already kind of knew I would be interested in doing. <laughs> um, totally, yeah. <clears throat> and maybe if I click around on some more information on this page, it would give me more resources to 
uh, follow through on them uh, instead yeah. of just being like, oh, well, that'd be nice. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> um, so, yeah, then maybe there is uh, something that we can take away from something that of value. But something that our listeners can take away now that we're 200 episodes in is more of this podcast. Uh, yeah. New episodes every Monday. You can um, check out the uh, new and old episodes on a variety of hosted platforms. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, Pocket Casts, HowDoWeHuman.com, anywhere that you get your podcasts you can uh, check us out. You can leave a review, leave a rating. You know, we gave a lot of ratings to things in this quiz. Uh, I don't know if I ever gave five stars to something, but you wow. should give five stars to us. Um, five stars to a lot. And uh, so you... I only end up with a one <laughs> one trait. You you know, visionary can, you can um <laughs> uh also follow us on our social media you can mm. check us out on instagram at how do we human oh we got that handle i believe uh you can still find us on twitter at how do we human pod yeah there's a story behind that it might not be there much longer <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk to you after the recording. <laughs> <laughs> you can uh, find us on Facebook at How Do We Human. I don't think you're ready for that handle. YouTube at How Do We Human. Handles, handles everywhere, but not a drop to drink. <laughs> or you can send us an email to How Do We Human Pod at gmail.com. The best part of that handle is that it's on email. If you took this quiz, uh, send your results to us. Let us know uh, what you did. And more importantly, let us know how long it took you. <laughs> yeah, let us know if this was a good uh, 200 <laughs> <laughs> option. It's all we could think of. Evan, do you have anything uh, you'd like to plug? I really don't. <laughs> We've gone long. I'll plug uh, episode 201. It comes out next week. It's going to be ballin'. Uh, and you know, uh, like I said, I've been doing a lot of DIYing. Oh, so you do have uh, something to plug? <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of DIY stuff. I've been building a lot of things, and it's been fun. But at the same time, I really I had the thought the other day, like it be for all the DIY community. You know, your Etsy's and the like, like. There isn't a place for them all to just like if they get tired, just buy the stuff. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So they don't have to make everything. So I, I want to make like a website where they can just buy the shit uh, if they're tired. Yeah, like us after this quiz. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, someone else do it dot com. I love it. You know what I mean? Yeah. What you got going on? <laughs> um, you know, I've actually started a new career, uh, hey. funnily enough, after uh, this, uh, even before taking this quiz. And it was not something that came up in any of my results. But, uh, you know, I'm not great at uh, video games, but I do enjoy <laughs> playing them. But True. you can't get paid to play them if you're not very good. Or so I thought, <laughs> oh. um, because in the world of mobile gaming, all yeah. of their ads are people playing the game awfully to be That's like, true. Oh, you can't do better than this. Um, and I want to be that guy who plays all those games so poorly that, uh, that. anyone watching the ads is like, are you stupid? <laughs> I want that to be me. <laughs> it's funny like that's not a strategy that's only a strategy to get people to play mobile games not like which is you know because people are already playing big names games right but that would be very funny if the like strategy for thor ragnarok or not thor ragnarok <laughs> War uh, <laughs> the game i play uh, god of war god of war god, god of war ragnarok was just someone's like sucking at it <laughs> just dying over and over again it's like i gotta fucking spend the 70 dollars <laughs> i gotta play this game because i know how to do that <laughs>
<laughs> I think that's a great career path for you. Thank I you so it. much. <laughs> well, uh, careers, careers. Judy Greers. Okay, bye. That's what's up, Judy Greers? <laughs> bye. <laughs>